guys it is 320 and we just got our first order five miles for four dollars psych man i declined that we got this one right here 4.9 miles for 14 dollars money 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 calf yes sir you already know we took this and it's only two items and this restaurant is usually pretty fast I think they might have it ready by the pickup time because it's only two items, you know? We can go ahead and arrive, man. We're that close. But yeah, guys, it is taking me to to Santee. And that is uh, where I, that is the area where I want to be, actually, just because uh, it gets really busy after 5 p.m. And uh, there's a lot of tippers over there and no apartment complex. So easy pickups and easy drop-off and easy money, man, that's what we like. That's why y'all watching the channel, man, making this money. That's right, folks. Longtime owner Mr. Krabs is opening a new restaurant called The Krusty Krab 2. First of all, congratulations, Mr. Krabs. Hello. I like money. What inspired you to build a second Krusty Krab right next door to the original? Money. <laughs> we just got the order, and we are... 11 minutes away four miles not bad i had to wait like um eight minutes to get the order so from i accepted it to getting it from the restaurant it took only eight minutes which that is amazing for a grub up order because they got the order at 319 and they handed me the order at 328 so it only took them nine minutes to make the order back it up and give it to me really good i really like uh picking up from urban calf just because they're always fast, man, and a lot of their order, a lot of their food, is expensive, which means the orders have uh, bigger tips, and uh, their food is actually good, man. I tried the, I tried their, their salad one time, their chicken salad with chips. It was bomb, no cap. But yeah, guys, hopefully today we don't have anybody crashing into us, and hopefully we get another unicorn like we got that unicorn from yesterday. That would be really nice. And yeah, let's go drop it off. Yes, sir, guys. We dropped that order off. She was waiting for us outside. Let's go ahead and... Who's beeping at me? Don't beep at me, man. Let's go ahead and deliver. And yes, sir. Let's see how much she tipped us. I know it was a good tip. $8? Okay, okay. I think, I think I'll take $8. Who got pulled over over here, man? Free my boy, he ain't even doing nothing. Just like my boy Mushimu says. Free my boy. Oh, he's trying to get out of it, man. He's like, officer, I'm so sorry. I won't do it again. I apologize. <laughs> oh, all right, guys. Let's go get some more orders, man. I'm having too much fun. It's really... You fast. Grab a two-way fast one. Oh. Guys, it is 4 p.m., man. I've been sitting over here for 20 minutes, and nothing has came in yet. I think I'm just going to go drive around a little just to see if I'll get anything else, man. Because, like, there's, like, two drivers over here. There's one driver over there, and then there's, like, some other drivers over there. There's some behind me. Oh, man, it's so slow and so many drivers, bro. DoorDash oversaturated every market, man. Uh, this, sorry, this is painful. Like, it is. I mean, it's only 72 degrees outside, but it feels like 85. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I remember hitting the curb here. Oh, that oh, was bad, man. Well, yeah, guys, I'm going to go drive around for a little bit, see if I can get anything else, and yeah. Guys, I'm done, man. I'm going to another zone right now. It's been, like, almost 30 minutes, and all I have got was, like, five garbage orders. The high, I'm not going to take no tippers and long-distance orders for, like, a dollar tip. I'm just not going to do that. But, yeah, I'm going back to the old uh, area that I was at earlier today. It showed... Um, that I was busy like look at this these are the kind of orders I'm getting four dollars for two orders bro two orders but yeah guys let's go back to my other zone and try to catch something good hopefully look at this dude 
Three dollars and seventy-five cents, man. No tip, no trip. Decline. Guys, if I can make just fifty dollars today, man, that would be really nice. I'm at fourteen dollars right now. I don't know how I'm gonna reach fifty. It's so slow, bro. But it's all good, man. Sometimes it be like that. Hopefully, we get another. Guys, we finally got a good order, man. <laughs> finally. I don't like it just because it's Burger King and they take forever. Uh, when is the pickup time? Is in seven minutes. We all know that's that's cap. They ordered three items: two double cheeseburger. Okay, I mean it's not a big order, but it's Burger King, man, and I hate picking up for Burger King. But well, you know what? If we can do this order and do another one that's also like close to ten dollars, like ten dollars and fifty cents, we'll be at twenty dollars an hour. But we never know, man. Let's go pick up this Burger King. Yes, sir. Alrighty, guys. We finally got the order from Burger King. It took them like 15 minutes after I accepted the order. But let's see how far we are. Wait, oh, my. Bro, 11 minutes? Are you serious? And DoorDash keeps pausing me uh, because of all their shit orders that they're sending me. Well, yeah, guys. I guess I got to drive 11 minutes to drive. I got, it takes 11 minutes to drive 2.7 miles. This is ridiculous. Oh my God, bro. Today is so bad, it's the worst. And I can't even pull out, there's like so much traffic. Guys, I am only 0.4 miles away from dropping off the Burger King order when I got this one. Uber Eats, $9.95, 2.8 miles, this uh, taco place. I took it, man. Just because it's really slow and it's a good order. Guys, I just realized I forgot to give my last customer the straw for his drink. Brian, I feel bad, man. I'm sorry, bro. I guess you gotta drink your drink without the straw now. Whoopsie! Here you go, Miss Ferguson. You have a wonderful day. Thank you, Dolan. My pleasure, my pleasure. Sir! Who has shorter her straw? Oh, I need it here. Guys, I just got the two burritos. They smell amazing. Well, let's go ahead and start it. How far are we? Five minutes, 2.6 miles. I think we are taking the highway. Which highway are we taking? In the first street? But yeah, guys, we're only five minutes away. Let me check if it's an apartment. Nope. It's a house. Let's go and do it, man. Stop playing with me, bro. It's a house. You know we all love houses. Uh -oh. Righty, guys. So the address took me in just the middle of the parking lot. I'm going to go ahead and call him. Call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Bro, come on. Six. Your call has been forwarded to an automated system. Are you kidding system. me? Um, hey, I'm at the parking lot. All right, guys, I'll let you know what's going to happen. I'm probably going to go look for him. Oh, I see him. I think that's him right there, John. Pretty sure. Let's go check. Guys, I dropped it off and was going to inside of this store, A Mart. And yeah, I call him. He's like, yeah, I don't know why the GPS pinned me right over here and this pinned me like right in the middle of the parking line. I was so confused. He wasn't answering the phone, but yeah, he did end up calling me back. And I we figured it out. He said he is in the convenience store by the trolley station. I walked over and gave it to him. It was a really nice guy. Guys, we got our next order. Come on, what is going on? Seven dollars and fifty cents, two point one miles, five items. I checked the subtotal and it is forty-two dollars, guys. So y'all already know there's gonna be some hidden, some hidden tip action. And yeah, we are close to Panda Express. We are probably like less than a mile away, but check out the subtotal: forty-two dollars and ninety cents. So, bro, it's a handed to me, man. I don't like those handed to me. This order is actually taking me on Emerald Street, very close to the middle school I went to. 
which I got suspended there two times, so no good times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go pick it up. Guys, we got the goods. It was ready. The Spanda Express and alcohol is the best, man. But we're 0.9 miles away, and it's going to be a five-minute drive. Guys, the traffic in California is crazy, man. Like, like you think your area is bad? Nah, bruh. My area is worse. All right, hold up. We have a gate, but no gate code, man. Amanda, it's 2022, man, and you still don't know how to order food? This is Amanda. Hey, this is your uh, DoorDash driver. What is the gate code? 2005. 200. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Y'all heard that? 2005. Now, let's go test how true that is. 2005. Okay, yep. If only customers knew how to order food, man. Let's go hand it to her. Sirski, guys, I handed her the order. She was really nice, actually. No, comp no complaints. Let's see. Bruh. Bruh! What the? Oh my! Who orders fifty dollars worth of food and tips three dollars and fifty cents? Righty, guys, I just did the calculation, and we are at forty-one dollar and twenty-three cent, which is honestly, it's not horrible, but it is bad because right now it's five twenty-five. And I started at three. So let's do that divide by 2.5. I'm making $16 an hour, man. $1 below minimum wage. That sucks, that really sucks. And I'm not getting any other orders. It's just, it's so bad. Like you see, it's a big red, but you don't get any orders. And then I bet you this area that I was at right here, Santee. Wait, as we speaking, we got an order. Let's see, man. What is it? What is it? Bro, I would have took this. I would have took it. Except Grandstand Pizza is literally the worst. I went there one time. I did a double order. It was like $20 for five miles. And it took me an hour and 30 minutes to complete it. That's how bad Grandstand Pizza is. It's horrible. Oh, we got Uber Eats. Nope, I'm not doing that. That's just way too low. And I also got a DoorDash. What is this? Oh, man. Should I, bro? Last time I went to Applebee's, they did me hella dirty. Uh, I don't know. What should I do? Let me see. Where is it? Yeah. You know what? Bro, we'll go ahead and take it. Look at the, it's gonna be ready in eight minutes. I highly doubt that. And they only ordered one item. Let me see that. Bro, look at that. That's gonna have no hidden tip. No hidden tip. Well, let's see what my man said. Gayo tag is off. Continue past the park with yellow slide and take the first ride. Please grab extra Mexican ranch if possible. Does Applebee's have Mexican ranch? Man, I have no idea, but I guess it is going to a house. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna go pick it up. I gotta use the bathroom also. So yeah, man, after this order, we are gonna be at $52, which is, it's not bad, but man, I was about to go home the first hour. Just because I'm, I, like the first an hour and a half, I only made $14. Man, I was hella about to go home. But good thing I didn't. Uh oh, there's the popo. Good thing I didn't because uh, right now, you know, I'm about to be over $50 and my goal was $50. So yeah, that's really good, man. Uh oh, we're making this. We made it, guys! We made it! Yeah, guys, Applebee's is right over here, man. I was really close to it. That's why they're not gonna have the order ready. Look, it's right over there. I know y'all can see it. Applebee's! Texas Roadhouse! Well, yeah, guys, let me go grab the order real quick. Guys, I just got this out on $7 for 1.1 miles. I'll go ahead and take it, man. Um... Just because it's from Urban Cab, the place that I was telling you guys about, they're always fast, their order are always ready. So yeah, we're gonna grab this Applebee's, go to Urban Cab, and then go deliver some food to some hungry customers. 
And if I did the calculation right, then um, we are going to be at, let's see, we are going to be, if there's no hidden tip, we're going to be at $25 an hour for this hour, which is really good, man. We're making this comeback. Yes, sir. Yes, risky. Yes, sir, guys, we got both orders and how far are we from the first one? We are 11 minutes, 3.9 miles, kind of far, man. Um, bro, when it's busy, these are the type of orders you gotta do to make some money. And do not take orders like this because they won't do you any good. Like, look at this order, bro. 7.5 miles for $11. Yeah, good luck. If you're ordering from 7 miles away, your tip should be $15. Look at these gas prices, man. These kind of orders with these kind of gas prices, you will be losing money. Like straight up. And in California, so damn expensive. You will never catch me taking an order like this or a no tip order. Screw that, man. That's a big no no. Look at this. Look. $7.79 for regular gas. Now, if that's not expensive, man, I don't know what is. Every week or every six days, I'm putting like $90 in gas for my little Camry, man. And y'all know how much miles per gallon I, I get? I get 23.1 miles per gallon. Hey man, it is what it is. I think I need me a hybrid. You know, I know these previous drivers be saving so much gas. Yeah, seriously guys, we just dropped off the order. We gotta, what is, get that out of my face. But guys, this guy's instruction make no sense whatsoever. Anyways, I found this uh, formula, Let's see what we got. Eh. I don't even care at this point, man. I just want to get these deliveries over with. Alrighty, let's back up. And we are four minutes away from the second delivery. Not bad. Let's go ahead and do it. Just do it, man. Do it! Just do it! Guys, I just dropped off the second order. Okay, okay, so we got, out of the two orders, we got $23 plus seven, that is $30 an hour. Really good, I am in another zone right now, so let's go catch some more orders. Alrighty guys, we got our next order, $10 for 1.4 miles. I usually don't like picking up from this giant New York pizza place just because they take forever. But since the mileage is so low, I took it, I'm already here. The uh, store is right there, and the subtotal is $28, so it can have a hidden tip, but who knows, man. And the pickup time is in, it's in two minutes, so let me go ahead and see if the order is ready. It's probably not ready. There's one way to find out. Yes, sir, guys, we got the order. We got the pizza. We are only four minutes away, man. This is a really good order. I'm surprised that they had it ready because I know like they never have the order ready. But this time they did. I might start picking up more from this restaurant just because they had the order ready. But um, yeah, we'll see. Alrighty, guys, I handed him the order and let's see what we got. Ooh, a 24 cent hidden tip, man. Let's get it. You know, any hidden tip is better than no hidden tip. I don't care if I get one penny. It's better than no Finally, pennies. now I can keep these pennies to myself. What the hell? I smell pennies! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, I'm gonna go home right now. If I get another order taking me back to El Cajon, I will take it if it's a good order, obviously. But if not, I gotta get home. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I just made it home and I did the calculation. We are sitting at $73.50. Not bad for a three hour and a half shift. Let me divide that by 3.5. Wait, what? 73.5 divided by 3.5. So we made $21 an hour. Not bad. I mean, it's not the worst. Just that the last hour helped us out a lot, man. We made, um, yeah, $30 an hour, which was really good. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, thank you. Stay safe.